here with Laura with Carolyn Jewelry and we're just kind of happened by and I thought who is this cute lady who has this beautiful jewelry and I talked you into an interview yes you did <laughs> thank you for that I, <laughs> I think right uh, tell me how you came up with the name oh so this um, is named after my daughter Kara oh. she started out with me when she was right around 10 12 years old oh my and goodness. she would make these little cute little braided bracelet bracelets and really? stuff and then um, then she lost interest, but I kept the name, so. I love it, yeah. and it has that great meaning behind it, too. Well, tell me about your jewelry, because you've certainly went a far cry from braided bracelets. Yes, I did. <laughs> so uh, most of my jewelry is, of course, these are beaded by me, but um, some of them are, are pieces that I, I purchased the pendant, and then I buy the chain in bulk and assemble it that way. And so that gives me a variety, and then I was concerned at first when I started doing jewelry that I wouldn't be able to provide enough to come down here and sell, sure. and no problem because with that, um, buying the, the chain and that, I was able to. Yeah, come up with I more bet pieces. the ideas are kind of endless too once you get going. I can see thinking, like, well, how many can I really come up with? But it, your creativity is just all across the board. It's beautiful. When I make jewelry, I, it's hard to stop. And my <laughs> husband will attest to it. I was up way too late last night because I get going and I can't stop because I keep thinking of more and more ideas. So That's incredible. It's Such an artist. So before this, were you also in an artist type field? Uh, I've been in a few artist fields. I used to be a hairstylist, so oh, I did cool. that for a while. Oh, yes, and I was in a band with my husband and a few oh, friends, so we had that going. So a few different, that's kind of my thing. That definitely shows through the creativity. I'm like, you have to have this in your, in your blood. I think most of my family is, too. So. That's pretty neat. That's a cool thing to pass on as well, yeah. Um, do you have a favorite piece or uh, maybe a bestseller that you'd like to show us? Oh, wow, there's, there's so many. I love these. I love the... I do too. Yeah, Druzy um, agates, and I, I love being able to take the piece and then match up the stone to make it pop. Oh, yeah. Um, Pick the beads, and so all of that is hand done by you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I bet that take. How long does that take? Oh, goodness. I can redo and redo until I get it just the way I want it. So it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and a half, just depending on what I'm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it just I love that you put the passion into it and just like it's never done. I so and I always tell my kids when I'm doing that that like the seam ripper is your best friend, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to take it out and put it back the way it's supposed to be. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah. cool. Well, let's take a look here. So we've got those beautiful jewels and necklaces. And what else do we have? So um, obviously, my bracelets are my biggest seller. People just love bracelets, and they're an easy. Um, Easy on, easy off item to put on to dress up your outfit. Yes. So people do that, and then easy I, to fit people too as well. Right, and I like making these because they're magnetic, so they they're again easy on. Okay, easy I off. love that. So um, that's great for that so many, many people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've got a little arthritis or whatever, and it's just hard to do, plus just convenient anyway. Right. And then I see some beautiful rings over here oh, too, yes. and some yep. men. I do have some men's and I have some men's bracelets as well, some men's jewelry. I, when I first started doing this, I realized that a lot of people don't have men's they jewelry. They don't. So That's what caught my I, eye. Yeah, so I, I thought I'd, I'm slowly adding more and more yes. as I go. What kind so. of material is the like the brown and black made out of? That is beautiful. Oh boy, each one is different and I honestly I don't remember what That's that all right. Is. I'm putting you totally on the spot. It's just gorgeous and I unique, was, very I, unique. I yeah, I sorry, I don't have an answer. That's <laughs> just fine. Okay, thank you so much, Laura. This is okay. We I don't know if you get a chance to scan over here too cuz she has so much more and then we can get in touch with you. I'm going to peek at your sign at carolynjewelry.com with a k at carolynjewelry.com and you've got the socials as well so people can check you out there. Thank you for doing the uh, interview with me. I appreciate it. Put me on the spot. You did fantastic and your jewelry is great. So come out and see her at Thursdays downtown and we'll be back in just a few minutes.